Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. I'm Dustin Staples, by the way, for those who are watching us, our viewers joining us on YouTube or social media, or maybe you're watching us on Comcast Cable Channel 21, our friends at Chat Mall, shout out to you all, and also maybe watching us uh, if you're on a YouTube channel, of course. Uh, we were down uh, last evening, so I'm hoping we're back up now. Shania Dalton and Louis Shamir will be busy working on that upload, so make sure we have the stream working. And so do stay tuned. There's some exciting changes coming to possibly having us expanding in some other social media locations. And I'll just kind of leave it as that. But hey, we have uh, been been spoiled with summer weather. A lot of sunny skies continue to kind of play here. We'll see 77 here for tonight. We'll see a 50, 68, and then a 57 here with clear skies at play. So do expect a nice mild night ahead of us. Get the bonfires out there going because I know a lot of you maybe if you like a good s'more roasting or better yet, if you get the hot dogs, you kind of roast the hot dogs over the fire pit um, as well. So if you're trying to do anything outside this evening I uh, just do know it's going to feel real nice and just you know no excuse to not be outdoors and I said this to somebody the other day is that if you're unless you're really allergic to the pollen uh, which of course it has been really high over the last several days and due to dry air in place it's not really going to be going anywhere anytime soon so just do expect that we're going to see the pollen levels remain high until we get to the weekend and especially it's race weekend I failed to mention that um, earlier this week and again um, for the rest of this evening of course I think there's a a, a, a series lap people can take apart perfect nice weather um Good evening. Uh, it's a good evening to go out and do some laps around Martinsville Speedway tonight. So take advantage of that. 40s for the overnight lows with clear skies at play. Taking ahead now to your Thursday forecast as we're getting prepared uh, for that as well. Do expect the nice weather to continue for Thursday. This is going to be the last of the warmth of days we're going to have for quite some time as our highs are going to be in the low 80s for everybody. Some upper 70s towards Ararat and Woolwine outside of Patrick Springs Meadows. Dan there in Patrick County too. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Make sure to have the sunscreen with you because now we're getting in the season where the sun rays are pretty high and pretty powerful right now that it is, you know, you possibly may come back with a little sun on your face. Make sure you have your sunglasses and your hat. Also stay hydrated. Again, there's been, you know, we have not been in extremely hot conditions where we have been saying, hey, you're going to need hydration, 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 but do know and expect to see those warm weather days. I promise Promise you they're coming or either we're going to get cold in a hurry real quick but as you know now it's difficult for us to get cold for a short for a long period of time now if we do get cold like I said earlier it's short-lived in our neck of the woods again plenty of sunshine for your good deal of that for Thursday highs near 82 maybe go out towards the Philpot Lake uh, head towards Smith Mount Lake and Manita outside of Rocky Mount there good afternoon to get out there and get the boats running make sure you want to uh, check your fuel for your boats also if you're doing any boat traveling, make sure you have all your necessary items, you know, life jackets, and make sure you have an, enough fuel, first of all, to get on the water where you're not stranded. And again, you have to call some sort of rescue uh, individuals that to come out there and rescue you because you're stuck without fuel on a boat. That would be worst case scenario. But again, our sunsets, sunrises are now coming in right around 645 in the morning. So we're getting close to those morning sunrises where they will begin to be picturesque. And let's take a look at the race weekend forecast. Uh, before we do that, though, I guess while Shay want to remind you, the burn ban does continue to the end of the month. Uh, again, Luis discussed that on Monday. Make sure you are not doing any open fires until after 4 p.m. And remember, Martinsville City does have a code law that runs into effect from 4 to 8 p.m. And again, a $500 fine and a third class misdemeanor is at that as well. All right, let's talk about the race weekend. I know, kind of uh, an iffy weekend here. So Friday, the truck series race is uh, taking place at 7.30 in the evening now. That is a Long John Silver's 200, uh, something I think that's the first we've had in our area. Again, that race is scheduled at 7.30 on Friday night. Saturday morning, we're going to begin to see rain continue, mild at times, too. So just keep that in mind as you're doing anything uh, later this weekend. Maybe you're not going to the races, but you're doing stuff outdoors. 
it's going to be kind of a hit or miss weekend because Saturday's going to be the best of the days. We do begin to see again, uh, if you're going to the call to 811.com before you dig race, uh, that's a NASCAR, part of the NASCAR Cup Series. That's also at 7.30, a nighttime race. Head out to Martinsville Speedway. I think the race should go off without a hitch on Saturday night. That should be okay. Again, Sunday's the big race at 3 p.m. there in Martinsville at the Speedway, or in Ridgeway, but it's Martinsville Speedway. 79 degrees. Again, chance of showers and storms are possible. So if you're heading to out any of the race activities, I know, again, people can have a chance to drive their cars around the laps uh, this evening. No other worries to concern about. We want to welcome all of our visitors joining us from across the United States, maybe even around the world here in Martinsville. We do appreciate you watching us. If you somehow stumbled upon BTW21, of course, we'll have all of those updates for you uh, the next week going into the winner's cast as well. But again, Friday for the, the Truck Series race, it's going to be a little dicey out there. So with the green flag may be resulting into a delay, we'll see what they say with that. But it's mild and warm for both Saturday. Again, Saturday's going to be the best of the days to see uh, part of the NASCAR Cup Series uh, race with the Xfinity uh, Series 2. So again, that's another car race in 730 nighttime race. If you haven't been to a nighttime race, I would highly suggest doing, especially up there so those bleachers. But again, Sunday's the big day with the NOCO 400. Just do expect those scattered storms in the afternoon. So the possibility of some rain delays are unfortunately uh, out there. So come back with us tomorrow. We'll be doing a final check of the updated forecast for Thursday. And obviously we'll be posting those up on our social media pages on Facebook at facebook.com slash btw21. You can also follow me on Staples Weather on Instagram and Facebook. I'll have all those updating postings for you at your convenience. Y'all make it a great evening, everybody. And remember, we'll have much more coming up right after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer.